Well, Amanda and Brett knew at this hour. We are now learning that this was a mother and her seven year old daughter found dead inside the home behind me here along Lindell Park. Now, police tell us they were called to this home at about 4 p.m. earlier this evening for reports of an unresponsive woman. When they got inside the home, they found that woman dead. And after searching the rest of the house, they then located her seven year old daughter dead as well. It is a confirmed double homicide, but no details on what exactly happened to the two victims. I spoke to Westport PD's Lieutenant Wolf a short time ago. Here's what he had to say about the investigation. Around uh, four o'clock today, we received a call about a, an unresponsive female in the home. Uh, when we arrived, we, we did in fact, uh, unfortunately, locate a did locate a deceased uh, female in the house. The officers checked the interior to make sure nobody else was inside, and that's when they also found the body of the seven-year-old. Westport Police and State Police Major Crimes Unit are on scene investigating, as you can see, but police have not identified any of the individuals involved. We know through Westport tax records that the house is owned by a man named Eric Malone, although it is not clear if he lives inside the house. Police say this is an isolated threat. There is no threat to this community, but once again, a mother and her seven-year-old daughter both found dead inside this home earlier this evening. We will continue to keep you updated, but for now, live in Westport, Zania Maldonado, Fox 61 News. Zania, thanks. In Westport, superintendent sending a letter to families about the tragic loss of one of the school district's parents and her beloved daughter. Thomas Scurry said in part, quote, there are no words that could console the sense of sorrow we feel by this unspeakable tragedy. He also said that at times like these, many feelings can surface. Coley Town Elementary School and Stepping Stones Preschool will be closed tomorrow, but will be open for parents and students who need mental health services between the hours of 11 and 1.